Hi, this is Michael Canellis at News.com, and to you this just might look like an ordinary salad spinner, but to yeast and bacteria, it's one big bowl of death and destruction. It's part of the Lotus sanitizing system for Tersano, and what you do is, you get a bowl, you fill it with water, take off the lid, you add the produce that you want to wash, no vegetables will be harmed in the making of this video, stick it in, put the lid on, and then you put it on the base. It's on the base, you select your repository, and hit go. Now, what's going on here? What's going on here is the base is creating ozone. It's sucking in air from the atmosphere, electrifying it, hitting it with a quick uh, blast of electricity, and shooting ozone up through the fruit and vegetables. Now, ozone is a highly unstable molecule. Usually, oxygen exists in the O2 form. With the O3, it's waiting to react with something. If you put it next to iron, it's gonna make iron oxide rust. Now, if you put it next to fruit and vegetables that are covered with fungus or bacteria or mildew, it hits those cells and breaks them open. Now, you can't breathe a lot of ozone. It would actually hurt your own cells, too. But in controlled doses like this, what it does is actually kill the parasites, but it doesn't hurt the fruit or the vegetables. So when you're done with it, all that's left is O2. It's a harmless gas. You breathe it every day. There's no chemical residue. This may look a little weird, but you actually, you've probably had ozonated products a lot. There's a company called Novazone in Livermore, California that sells industrial ozonators to water companies and vegetable companies. If you've had bottled water or fruit from Chile or Mexico, you've probably been in contact with some products from Novazone. Ah, soup's on. The cycle's done. It took about five minutes. Here we are. Piece of celery, denuded of all bacteria and microbes. Mmm, delicious. Now what else can you do with ozone? You can clean your house. This is a squirt bottle that comes with the sanitizing system. You fill it up with water, you stir up the ozonator, and it makes ozonated water. Now why do you want to do that? Because again, O3 is very unstable. If you squirt ozonated water onto a stain, it'll actually help remove that stain. For instance, look at some of these stills. This first shot is an old cat vomit stain on a rug we have at our house. I squirted it with some ozonated water, and voila, you can see a lot of it's been taken up. Not bad. And again, there's no dangerous chemical residue. In fact, the cleansing action of the water only lasts for about 15 minutes, because after 15 minutes, the O3 is pretty much reacted with everything it can find in the water. Now again, you don't want to drink it, but you know, you just plug it back on, you re-ozonate it, and you can clean again. Now, there is one issue with this. The sanitizing system costs $170. That's a little more than most of your salad spinners on the market today but you can expect the price to go down, and if the product takes off and competitors emerge, then the price will really start dropping. I'm Michael Canellis for News.com.